I grew up in the oil field and um, as a child used to go to work with my father and I used to hang around the welders and geologists and uh, actually my first job was as a welder's assistant uh, when I was 13. So I learned how to weld a little bit and uh, I was his helper and um, eventually when I got interested in art, it was in the late 50s, early 60s during the heyday of abstract expressionism. I had a difficult time painting, but I knew how to weld and um, fabricate stuff. So I, gravity sort of took over and I kind of rolled downhill into the sculpture department where I was at home. So this is my next project. This is a, a rooster, the cock, which is the national emblem of France. I would love to do this on a large scale and have it installed in Paris uh, in two parts, uh, in like a square somewhere in Paris, so that the cock is, is like 20 feet, 30 feet tall, and the tail in the same scale, uh, but they're separate. They're, they're a pair, but they're, uh, they're, they're isolated from each other a little bit. Most of the pieces I, uh, I do, I start out with a model and uh, work in, uh, and this, this is just corrugated cardboard, but since the elk was going to be fabricated out of sheet metal, out of steel, I just worked in flat cardboard and cut the shapes out, glued them together, and uh, built it and rebuilt it. This is maybe fourth or fifth model that I worked on. I, I made the elk for uh, Dan Wyden's place at Blue Lake, Camp Caldera. I had visited Camp Caldera and I, and I thought a, a, a large piece of sculpture would be great down there because it's a creative camp and he gets a lot of uh, young people down there who work on art. I had the uh, all the sheet steel laser cut uh, so it became like a jigsaw puzzle that uh, my friend Brian Creaney, a welder I work with, and I uh, welded it all together. Brian had to build a trailer uh, large enough to carry the silk down I-5 down to Southern Oregon. So we trailered it down, uh, turned a lot of heads, this giant steel elk going down the freeway. 